good evening guys uh, i hope you can see and hear me can you see and hear me guys can you see and hear me if you can see and hear me just type in that you can see and hear me uh, on the youtube can you all see and hear me can you all see and hear me guys okay one second one second let me position myself properly okay i hope everybody is clear now uh prashant right now i cannot speak in hindi uh, it will be purely in english as of now hindi i may do it some other time and when i am doing i'll let you know so i hope all of you can see me uh, if you can see it in uh, the youtube can you just type in uh, i hope guys you are on zoom all of you can see and hear me right uh, just type it in the chat box so that i know that you are all uh, you are all clear i hope this is clear so we will get started guys we will get started so uh, uh, prashant whatever you don't understand you can ask me i will actually explain that in hindi uh, that should be the best possible thing which i can do right now okay so uh, yesterday we were talking about some very interesting uh, uh, things which actually i had to discuss one of the most important thing which was uh, to do with the support and resistance so let's actually explain let me explain you the support and resistance then i will actually get into the charts and we will get in details about how actually to read the charts and tomorrow we will be mainly looking at uh, how to use this chart and take a perfect entry so taking the perfect entry taking the perfect exit where to keep the stop loss all those things we will discuss tomorrow right now for today the agenda will be like this the agenda will be first we will learn about the support and resistances which is very important for us to understand second is we will be looking at uh, uh, understanding the chart pattern uh, the candlestick chart how the candlestick chart is there how to read this and uh, we will actually work on that so let's actually understand this very important concept which is called the support and the resistance now what is the support and what is the resistance so let us understand this in a little more detail so let me actually do one thing let me put the immediate support right now immediate support okay let's uh, let me put this as 11300 to 11350 this is the immediate support and the resistance for this comes at 11400 to 11450 and here it will come to 11000 i'll explain you don't worry let me actually put this to so that you will have a clear clarity once i am explaining this okay let's understand this i'm giving you the figures so that uh, based on the current market condition so that you will be more clear on this so let's understand this let's let's look at this i have a ball and and this ball what i am doing is understand this this is actually the roof of a building this is the floor of a building this the the bottom more portion you think that this is actually the floor of the building and the other one is actually the roof of the building so what actually you have to understand is this so the first part actually at this place what we are seeing this is actually the floor which is actually at 11300 to 350 and the roof is actually 11400 to 450 okay let's understand this let me explain you the concept and then actually you will be more clear on that let's take this ball and this ball i am actually just dropping this ball it falls on the ground and once it falls on the ground what happens to that take this ball with the law of gravity you leave that it will fall on the ground and once it falls on the ground what happens it bounces back right it moves up it moves up and it moves up and when it moves up so what happens it that is a bounce back what is going to happen that means in 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 actually uh, a technical analysis or in the stock market what we have to see is this is called as a support because this is where people are interested to buy 
because this is where people have actually they were expecting that uh, the prices may actually not go up actually they were selling but actually a lot of buying came in and then actually prices have moved up so that is going to act as a floor floor is something where there is a lot of demand more people are interested to buy than sell that is a floor now let's look at this let me take this ball and throw this up i'll throw this up to the roof it touches the roof and once it touches the roof what happens it will fall down correct so when it touches the roof what happens it will fall down right so just type in here guys support is equal to floor support is equal to floor support is place where actually buying will come so support is equal to floor you can just type in support is equal to floor and resistance is equal to roof resistance is a place where there is actually a selling which will come so whenever it comes to the floor or the support the buying will come whenever it comes to the resistance or the roof the selling will come if you remember every day on my uh, telegram channel i always put the day support days resistance what exactly it means the day support and days resistance this is actually a place where buying interest will come this is a place where selling interest will come so that is what i am actually trying to tell you so understand where is the support where is the resistance it's very important whenever we are trying to buy or sell so why whenever we are talking about this it's it's very very important so let's understand this concept now now that you know it is the floor and the roof now let's take for example i take this ball and throw this ball it will fall down first time second time i'll throw with more energy it will again fall down suppose this floor this roof whatever is there it is a false roof it is not the real roof it is just a false roof what happens this will break right it is going to break and when it breaks let's assume this this is actually understand that this is a ground floor and this is the first floor so if it is actually a ground floor and the first floor from the ground floor when it actually this roof gets broken what happens the ball will actually come and land on the first floor and when it lands on the first floor for the ground floor this is actually a roof but if you talk about the first floor this is going to be a floor okay so what exactly does this mean this means whenever a resistance gets broken the resistance will become a support and whenever a support will get broken support will become resistance so just type in guys so that you this concept has to be clear in your mind whenever the resistance gets broken resistance becomes support whenever support gets broken support becomes resistance just type in guys so that actually it becomes more clear for people who are actually not understood they will actually go be more clear on this so if you have understood this actually just type in as super clear on this so let's actually be very very clear on this when the resistance gets broken resistance becomes support when the support gets broken support becomes resistance so let, to understand about this let's look at the nifty nifty had a lot of resistance at 11300 350 if you see every time it used to come to 300 350 Okay. Okay. Let's let's get started again. A lot of you have actually asked uh for repeating. So there there is a support 
now what is the support now if i take this ball and actually leave that ball it falls on the ground if it falls on the ground and bounces back now what does that mean that means at this level this place there's a lot of people who want to buy let's understand this concept how exactly it works psychologically let us understand a lot of us actually wanted to actually go and uh, buy but what happened when you it went to 11350 350 the selling actually pressure was so bad so much and since the selling pressure was so much prices actually came down since prices came down what happened uh, then actually we got scared and we did not go but what happened again the uh, we did not buy but somebody else bought and overall if you see there was a support at the lower level and it pushed the prices up and since the it was pushed the prices up this place where actually the selling <coughs> was happening all this selling has been absorbed by the market and now the fresh buying has started and since the fresh buying has started this level actually which was a resistance has become a support and now what happens is when the fall happens at this level more people are interested to buy now what has happened now from this place let's actually get back to this so if you see in the beginning of the month in the month of august this was the level 11300 350 and from there the selling actually came and it went below 11000 and from there again it has broken that and this is a place where there was a lot of resistance again at 11400 450 it brought the prices back to 11100 levels and from there again the prices started moving and now if you see at 11500 we are getting the resistance but at 11400 itself we are getting this support okay so the concept i think the support and resistance is clear right now what happens is what i was telling you is this resistance is there now this resistance now once i actually break this resistance now i was giving you the example of false roof let us assume that this is a false roof and i throw this with more energy the roof will get broken and when the roof will get broken assume that this is the ground floor and in the ground floor you are there now for the ground floor this is the roof and from that place what happens when i throw this ball it breaks this wall this roof and actually comes on lands on the first floor and when it lands on the first floor what happens is for this first floor this whatever is the floor is a roof for the ground floor okay so the concept here is whenever this resistance will get broken this resistance is going to become a support and whenever the support is going to get broken the support is going to become the resistance let's assume the reverse way what happens is i am here and from here i am actually coming down this gets broken and when this gets broken it actually falls down this actually is a place where always bounce back used to come and now since the bounce back is not coming now what happens is that place will start acting as a resistance from there whenever uh, now when it breaks this and it starts coming up it will actually start uh, the selling pressure will come at this place so let's assume this uh, it actually breaks this 11400 450 and starts falling down and it starts now the next support for this is this 11300 now 11300 starts going up but here it actually now instead of acting as a support it will act as a resistance so the concept here is whenever a support will get broken support will become resistance whenever the resistance will get broken resistance becomes a support i hope this is clear with you if this is clear with you just actually type in a super clear so that i we will be more uh, we can actually move ahead with the main concepts are you all clear guys just actually type in super clear if you are clear if you are not clear if you, what is not clear you can just actually ask me specific thing i can actually help you to understand this because once you understand this rest of the things becomes easier guys this is very important concept for you to understand this is the most crucial concept which you need to understand because everything is actually based on this 
every other concept will be based on this because this once you understand then only you will know where to take entry where to take exit if you don't understand this the entry and exit will not be a clear thing okay great i hope all of you are getting clear now let's actually move on to the concept of ella and idilla jug la thanni entu kudikka vanam solla hey roshi jug la thanni kudikka vanam uh guys here on zoom don't actually uh, unmute yourself until in this you want to speak something because it actually uh, we are going live okay okay let's uh, let's come back to this uh, uh okay one second showing up okay let's come to this okay let's uh, uh, understand the candlestick now now what is the candlestick candlestick is the place where we are actually going to uh, uh, look at the charts amit yadav what is role reversal this is nothing to do with reversal and all uh, let's not actually talk about something which will confuse the audience here because a lot of people are with okay guys i think i'm back i'm live i hope everything is clear uh, i don't see any challenge here so let's let's come back okay let's actually go through this so let me actually share with you how actually this candlestick actually chart look like okay this is uh, in general how a candlestick chart looks like okay you can see right okay so this is actually a candlestick chart and this is how the candlestick chart will look like the candlestick chart is actually a, a chart where you can see a lot of different things you can see here right this is all actually how a candlestick look like so let me explain you how what actually is the candlestick and what is the difference and how actually you need to take care of this okay so what i'll do is i'll share with you the actual thing here and let me explain you about how the candlestick works okay let's take today's example and based on today's example let's actually work out how actually the candlestick chart will look like and how actually you need to look, uh, uh, actually assume the entire thing how do how exactly the entire thing works so today actually if you see the opening was at 11000 uh, 11000 uh 5 1 second let me actually take the real value i'll just uh, uh, open and see the real value and i'll take the real value just a minute so the real value is 11513 this is actually uh the price at which we opened and the closing was at 11472 and the day high was 11000 one second 11525 one second 11525 and the day low was uh, 10000 sorry 11000 4 okay let's understand this i have taken the real value of this and let me actually share with you what exactly all these things mean so okay see what is candlestick and what is this use that is what actually the proud indian is asking so see uh the candlestick the re, the main uh concept of candlestick is uh, from the japan uh, japanese actually found this uh, whole pattern this is why it is called a japanese candlestick pattern and why it actually is called candlestick is because this looks like a candle if you see the overall thing it looks like a candle the whole thing and the difference between this and the regular chart see regularly if you actually uh, uh, go and look at it if i have to uh, draw a simple uh, a line chart kind of thing 
uh, to tell you what is happening in the market so the difference between that and this what happens is in that we take only one value into consideration which is called the closing price so let me first define you all the things about open low close high and then we will actually discuss about what exactly each of these represent and how does it actually really help uh, all those things we will learn about it so first let me actually explain you how this works what is the difference i will actually share with you then you will realize the difference between this and that and what happens is we we'll, we will be able to uh, see these charts and these candlestick patterns and with this patterns itself we will learn a lot of things so for today i will be mainly talking about uh, i'll not be getting into patterns and all this is not uh, we uh, that is out of scope for actually what we are actually doing here so i'll tell you the basics of this candlestick and how this works and other things so the candlestick as such if you look at it it looks see this is how it works there are, what uh, let me explain what is the different things about open price low price cl close price everything let's actually go one by one so what is the open price at morning 9:15 the stock market opens and if you look at this the pre opening is also there between 9 o'clock to 9:07 so what exactly happens in the pre open now see a lot of people would actually go and place their order after market so if you go to your broker and actually see there's something called as amo order that is after market hours so after market you can actually place this order and that is actually going to be uh, 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 that will be started only during the market hours so there's something else called gtt good till triggered there's another trade which actually happens it is available with a lot of brokers now what happens there is if any of those prices are coming you could actually place that order and leave it and whenever that prices comes actually the order will get triggered so that's how the entire thing works and all these things will happen between this 9 o'clock to 7 97 so the whole thing is there has to be a buyer there has to be a seller see you will always see in your order book there is a bid and an ask now what is the bid and an ask i told you yesterday also this is actually it is a market so there is somebody who is auctioning they are actually saying i am ready to buy at this price and you will say i want at this price so there is a negotiation which is happening and when both of the parties prices match when both the prices match and that is where the transaction will happen so what based on that uh in the morning 9:15 the price will be determined what price we will open so that will be the open price so if you see today market opened with a gap and it opened at 11512 213 because see the overall market sentiment was extraordinarily good and because of the overall market sentiment being good market opened quite high we opened at 11513 we opened why quite high and after that market actually came down went up came down went up all those things have happened if you see today so if you look at that what price did we close that is actually at 330 pm what price did we actually close that is actually the close price now if you see the close price today was at 11472 11472 that is actually the low uh, the close price that is the price at which we have closed for the market today during this entire duration 11525 11525 is actually the price at which we have made the high and 11423 is the price at which we have made the low if you actually see this as per this the candle should actually be a little like this and this should be a little on a higher side now this is how actually the candle will look like precisely based on the prices if i have to see so this is the lowest price and this is the price at which it have closed so this is actually the highest price and this is the open price now to make you understand this a little bit let me actually share with you another uh, um, uh, uh, image and then actually you it will be more clear what is the minimum okay see the, what is gap gap is a place at which there is no trade which has happened now 
uh, now what happens is um, um, okay let me actually share with you the actual chart and then actually i will tell you let me act, let me finish this and then i will come to that so let's not get confused between that okay one second one second let me actually share you there's one important image which will make it more clear to you i'm just searching that image one second i'm just sharing that image to you yeah yeah i'm just sharing this image then it becomes very clear because what happens is uh, okay see this is how the candlestick actually works like now this is actually the real body and this is called the upper shadow this is called the close and this is the high that this the highest price is this the lowest price will be here so if you see the entire thing if we start low and go high it will be a green candle and if we start high and go low that is going to be a red candle today if you see we have made a red candle krishnapur indumati you are asking how do we arrive at these prices for stock different stocks together see uh, as a index the index is actually decided by the exchange and this is uh, nifty is comprised of 50 stocks and based on that it is going to happen this whatever chart pattern whatever uh, stock sorry the candlestick whatever we are talking about it is available for each and every stock you can actually go and see this in your nse website itself okay let's understand this see i start at uh, 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 maybe 10 rupees and actually end up at 12 rupees that means during this day i have been positive so that will be a green uh, candlestick and if i start at 12 rupees and end up at 10 rupees that means i am it is a negative candle so that will be a negative candle so what happens here why we need this is because you will have a much better clarity about what is happening so in candlestick you will get this candles you can see for 5 minutes you can see for 15 minutes you can see for 1 hour you can see for half an hour one day one week one month so you will get a clear clarity about what is happening in the market if you look at only the if you look at the only the bar chart what you are seeing it's only one single line what you are seeing you will have absolutely no clarity what happens is all the closing points is actually calculated and all of them are actually joined together that's exactly what happens in this so let's actually come back to our original example so the example which we are talking about here is this so we started at 11000 513 and we close at 11472 overall if you see the price will show that the market may be positive but what is happening is at the higher level the selling has come so it is a negative candle so this is the biggest thing which we will actually be able to see when you look at a candlestick chart so there is a lot of difference which will happen so this means that at the higher level still there is a lot of pressure which is there because the new roof right now is 11500 to 550 and the new floor right now is 11400 450 so that will be the new roof and the new sorry the main thing it could be 11350 to 400 could be the floor and 11500 to 550 could be the roof right now so if you look at that now you need to actually you will get a much better clarity on this and this is completely uh, there is a lot of things you need to learn about candlestick guys i will not be able to tell you everything because we have very limited time and i am trying to do what best i can do in the limited time it is available i want to give you all my knowledge whatever is possible for you so okay one question which the proud indian has asked let me actually answer that uh, that is actually to do with the gap since i have actually referred to the gap let me share with you what is this gap and how this works and uh, how what actually uh, uh, you, you mean by this gap let me actually share with you let me show you this 
so though we actually started uh, with uh, the what do you say we started gap but the gap actually was not uh, it got filled up it is actually not that the gap was still there gap got filled up and uh, then we have moved up okay let me actually uh, let me do one thing let me share you this and then actually let me explain you okay one second i hope you can all see this and uh, here if i actually look at this place see this particular uh, uh, thing uh, uh, yesterday that was a positive candle you can see here see if you are getting in this black and white thing the positive candle will be represented by white and the negative candle will be represented by the black and uh, in some places you will have blue or green uh, which is actually a positive candle and uh, most of the cases black and red will be more most of the cases it will be a negative candle if you see here yesterday the high which we made is 11497.25 that is the high which has been made and today when we actually opened the open price was 11513 that means between 11497 to 11513 there was this close to around uh, 16 points there was a gap now this is a place at which there is no trade which has happened see we did we have closed that gap but overall there was a gap let me show you somewhere where the gap is more prominent see here you can see this gap clearly okay let me do one thing let me actually remove this so that it is more clear for you okay let me let me zoom this a little bit guys can you see this between here till here there is no trade which has happened now this is called as a gap so i think for time being you just understand this let us actually not get in more details because uh, that is a lot of things you need to learn about gaps and uh, i think that is going to be out of uh, the topic right now that is not something which we have to talk about let's actually understand more in detail about the candlesticks so so the candlesticks which we were actually looking at so this is how the candle will look like it will be either a green candle or a red candle it can actually be a, it can have a smaller body it can have a bigger body say so when they have a bigger body that means there is lot of movement which has happened when it is a smaller body a smaller movement has happened you can clearly just looking at that you can actually clearly know what is happening in the market you can clearly know what kind of actually uh, is there any reversal which can come you can actually predict because <coughs> there are many patterns which actually ha happen in this candlestick and that itself is a very big vast topic and if you understand that you will be able to make a lot of money with that so candlestick chart candlestick patterns there is a lot of things to learn in candlestick patterns and uh, this comprises of four different components the open price the high price the low price and the close price so suppose for example i want to look at a candlestick for 5 minutes uh proud indian understand one simple thing about gap forget about gap don't worry too much on the gap gap is something where all of a sudden it has moved higher that is a gap up all of a sudden you you were wherever you were in the next day actually you couldn't actually even get that price at which you actually started so from previous day to the next day if there is actually a lot of difference in the price that you can assume as a gap up in simple words that is what is gap up and if actually it has moved up that is a gap up if it has moved down that is a gap down so that's something which for you to understand in simple words because if i actually spend more time here i think i will not have time to explain what is left out we have already spent 40 minutes 
and uh, we have still not completed the main topic i still have to leave for the q and a session okay so that let's understand this more uh, in detail now uh, about the candlestick as such so the candle will actually have the open price the close price the high price and the low price so high low close and open these are the four different components now if we want it for 5 minutes in that 5 minute what was the open price suppose i want for 9 o'clock to 95 let's assume this for 9 o'clock to 95 i want to look at what is the candlestick in that case what happens is the uh, open price will will be the open price at which it has opened at 9 o'clock and 95 is actually at 95 what price it close the, so that will be the open price and the close price for that 5 minute candle and during this 5 minute what was the low which has made that will be the low price whatever the high was made that will be the high price similarly the same thing can happen for 15 minute for 1 hour for half an hour for one day for one week for one month everything okay gaud kare is asking um, how to find resistance and support of a stock uh, that we will talk tomorrow about correct today actually let us only understand the basics of uh, chart patterns we will talk about finding the support and resistance uh, and finding the entry exit stop loss everything tomorrow so that will be the topic for tomorrow okay how many minutes candle we should use for intraday harsha the uh, you need to use a 15 minute candle for intraday um, to uh, to look at the overall trend you can use a one hour uh, uh, candle and for getting an entry you can actually look at the 5 minute candle also but overall to look at the overall trend and actually to hold or carry forward or whatever 15 minute candle so you, it is not one uh, candle with one uh, chart it is actually going to help you you need to use multiple thing when we are actually doing any kind of analysis we actually always look at the day candle and whenever we are looking at the entry we will rather look at the so first we will decide whether we should enter or not if we have to enter or not that is decided by the 15 minute candle and to take a right entry we will probably look at the 5 minute candle uh, okay charan today the uh, he is giving an example today the market ends at 11000 and tomorrow if the market opens at 11200 that charan that could be the thing but exact gap is not that exact gap is the difference between the highest price of today to the lowest price of tomorrow and if there is a gap which is made that is actually the gap so gap up is actually i may start up it is not necessary i have to hold on to that i may start then actually i may actually come down also if i am not coming down actually it is good that actually shows the strength of the market okay i hope all of you have getting the points clear so uh, i think i have explained you how the candlestick works if there is anything uh, you want to ask me about the candlesticks i think you can actually uh, ask me let's understand more in details about taking the exact entry exact e exit stop loss everything we will discuss tomorrow that is the main reason i wanted you to understand about the support and resistance because the support and resistance will really help us and that will be something where tomorrow we will see how to take a perfect entry and how to take a perfect exit so how do we do that with the charts we will learn tomorrow and day after tomorrow we will learn that along with the indicator okay suresh is asking what is a doji candle okay doji is actually a candlestick pattern in that the open price and the close price will be almost same it looks like a cross symbol okay let me actually share with you something uh okay just a minute so if you see this particular candle here this actually is a doji because here let us see uh, what is the open look at the open price and the high price uh, sorry the close price it's absolutely the same 11322.25 is the open price 11322.5 is the close price this is actually called a doji now doji is place see what is doji doji in japanese it means uncertainty people are not clear 
so there is no clarity whether uh, the market is going to go up or down when there is a lot of uncertainties that is where actually the doji will form doji could also uh, reflect that uh, it could be a reversal so there is a lot of things actually logic which comes in this candlestick so that actually is to do with your candlestick patterns and all which we are not actually going in detail for today uh krishnapur indipati a candlestick can be for individual stock it can be for a, a particular index it could be for anything you can see the candlestick are actually available for everything whether it is actually uh, for uh, uh, what do you say it is for the stock or the commodity or for the currency everything actually you can have the candlestick uh guys actually we will not get into the candlestick patterns so let us actually not get into details of that if i have to get into the candlestick there are so many candlestick patterns so hanging man uh, uh, doji all these are different kinds of candlestick patterns so that is out of scope of actually this particular program so let us actually not get into details on that let's understand the basics first let's actually get more hang uh, on what as uh, what is required and uh, see those are all actually part of my advanced training program so i will not be actually covering all those things here and we are also not having much time we are already completed the 45 minutes which we have done okay any other questions guys anything are we all clear about the candlestick patterns now here uh, our students here arun shiva suresh any of you have any questions to ask or others actually guys uh, uh, if see please understand this video whatever you are seeing on youtube it will be available for only the next 24 hours and if you want this recording of this to continue then you need to actually pay 99 rupees and you can actually take this recording or if you want to be a part of my elite circle where i have my private network of student and you can interact with me live and you can be a part of my zoom call here you can directly chat with me you can get a lot more things on uh, not only uh, about this you will be a part of our mastermind uh, uh, weekly program where we will discuss about the strategy one week in advance and we will i'll be actually sharing with you all the shares and many other things much more in advance so a lot of different options are there and that time uh, you are getting it just at 499 rupees so guys if you want i will leave the uh, leave this details in the description or i will put it in the comment section any of you want to actually be a part of that you can do it chetan is asking how to find stocks use of uh, candlestick chart uh, chetan you cannot find stocks uh, you can actually for whichever stock you want to do uh, analysis you can actually look at their candlestick pattern candlesticks to it's mainly you are looking at their chart you are looking at the chart see what happens a doctor will look at the stethoscope he will take the stethoscope actually put the stethoscope in the right places and find out what is happening with the heartbeat he is going to actually know what is happening with you right similarly this candlestick is actually something which will help us to understand what is happening in the chart what exactly it is trying to say that is what we are trying to find out so as a uh, anal analyst as a technical analyst we try to find out what is happening with the stock and should we buy should we sell where actually the buying will come where exactly the selling will come a lot of things comes with experience but at the same time there is a lot of science behind it guys okay any other questions any of you have any of you have any questions you can actually feel free to actually uh, 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 you can actually ask me you can just chat with me so you want to be a part of here you can actually be, uh, be a part of this if you have not actually subscribed to this actually channel first go and subscribe this like this video guys and share it with all your friends let them all get benefited by this let everybody know about this particular channel let everybody get benefited i have been actually doing a lot more lives i have been actually sharing intraday tips i have been sharing the positional trading tips 
I'll be slowly starting with something to do with the result. Uh, 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 quarterly results uh, are coming up, right? For that, how do you need to trade? I'll be doing a lot more things on that. Charan is asking candlestick chart will be in every stock uh, and index if you are not getting in your uh, okay. He is actually explaining it. Perfect. Thank you, Charan. Uh, Deepak, how you can learn technical analysis? Deepak, actually, I have my own comprehensive course on technical analysis. I'll be talking about that in detail on the last day of the program. So let's actually let me give out everything for free. And if you really want to learn more, you want to actually you feel that I can actually add value, then we will actually discuss that at the end of that on Friday. So Harsha is asking, can we use pivot for identifying support and resistance? Harsha, we have a lot of ways to find out support and resistance. Pivot is one of the method. Fibonacci is another method. Moving averages is another method. We have this uh, indicators, oscillators. We have our charts. We have a lot of methods through which we can find the support and resistance. But how do you use it is very important. How do you use and how do you trade? That is very important for you to know. See, if we are learning how big things, what happens is you will learn few things, but it will work in some circumstances, some circumstances it may not work. So you need to be very clear about when and what has to be done. So I am trying to simplify whatever is possible in the five days, whatever is possible from my side, I will do that. And uh, later we will see. Okay, guys, any other questions you have? If you have any questions, just shoot out the questions and I'll try to answer that. If uh, any of you have anything else, uh, uh, I'm anyway going to leave those links with you. Any of you want to actually uh, be a part here, want to actually, you feel that I can add value to you and you want to be uh, my mentor, you want to actually get that guidance. So guys, I hardly, um, I see the main thing what happens is when I started, I did not have anyone to guide me and it took a long, long time. I have taken around 15 years. I've struggled to actually come to a stage at which we can, I can actually give you all the recommendations. It, for that, you need to be very clear on that. Uh, Narendra Singh uh, about engulfing and all for people who are new here, they will get more confused. Let's not talk about all this. Is Engulfing is something where one is going to overtake the other one. That is what actually it happens. It is not going to help you in entry and exit, uh, uh, Narendra ji. What happens is uh, uh, engulfing is going to be more of a reversal kind of a candlestick pattern. And it's not. it actually tries to show that uh, there is actually probably a shift in the direction of the market. So that could be a temporary or that could be permanent. We have to see where it happens, how it happens and other things. So Prashant, you want uh, advanced uh, training? What I'll do is guys, whoever wants the advanced training, I'll just leave uh, uh, my uh, link here. What you can do is you can directly chat with me on uh, WhatsApp. Uh, this is actually the link. Just actually go and click on this link and uh, you can chat with me directly. I will be actually sharing with you what all things you can learn and we can do a complete advanced program there. So I'll be starting off this program on Monday. I'll explain you everything on Friday. So be here. I'll be giving you a super duper offer on Friday for all the people. See, I want you to be clear about what it is and you want to still continue with your journey, I'll be giving you something very, very powerful, some offer which I am coming out, which I have never given any point of time. I'm coming out with that. I'll actually share with you on that on Friday. And this is my personal link. You can directly access, uh, uh, you can directly ask me any questions there. Okay, guys, any other questions you have? Anything else you want to know? Narendra Singh, thank you very much. Prashant, thank you. A any Anything else any of you want to know, guys? Anything you want to ask, you are free to ask. If there is no other question, I think we will wind off. For people who might be joining later, who are seeing it, guys, the live session has ended here. So whatever you might be seeing is something which has got streamed here. 
and what you can do is you can leave your questions in the comment section i will actually go back and answer i'll be personally answering each of your questions so don't worry even if i am not live here right now to answer your questions i'll be answer your questions just leave it in the comment box here guys i need your help to actually make this channel more viral please share it with all your friend guys please share it with everyone please actually like this channel like this video share this channel and do uh, do promote this to everyone let everybody get uh, benefited with this i'm trying to give what best i can do but i need your help let actually more people benefit i have a vision that i want to reach out to 1 crore people by 2030 so you are our first batch of people so i need your help so please actually share this to all your friends let them all get benefited guys okay i think i'll wind off and uh, see you tomorrow at the same time thank you very much guys